Macca's Guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here and welcome to the continuation of my 100% walkthrough for Crash Bandicoot 4. In this video we're doing level 3 which is known as a real grind. This introduces a couple of new mechanics including grinding as well as the ability to warp between times which is very important. There's also a lot of very well hidden boxes on this one. I'll try to point them out when possible. But you're going to be warping between times a lot to platform here. And you're going to also have to make sure to do some timed jumps to grab boxes while not falling down to your inevitable death. At each checkpoint, I'll try my best to show how many boxes I currently have. And I will point out the hard ones. But as always, we're going to need at least 80% of the Wumpa Fruit, all of the boxes, zero deaths, and we'll need to grab the hidden gem near the end of the level. For those unaware, if you do find a Nitro box, you just want to leave it alone and you explode those at the very, very end. There's also a very well hidden box that I just grabbed above that barrel in the warp zone. We can then do a quick little uh, crouch jump and double jump up onto here. And this will bring us to right before the first grind area. And right before hopping on the rail, we'll want to make sure that we have at least or exactly 40 crates. Additionally, you can smash these speakers. You will get an achievement or trophy for doing it for your first time. I don't know what happens if you grab all of them, but you can get the perfect medal without doing it. You'll have 53 boxes once you complete the first rail grind, by the way. The next tricky box is actually available kind of hidden above all of these boxes so make sure you do a big jump off the top box double jump and you should be able to grab that one after all of these boxes are done you should have 68 and then we can kind of proceed. There are additionally two very tricky boxes to the left and the right inside of the tires. So before you go through the bonus level, you can grab the left one and then go into the bonus level with 90 crates. After the bonus level, you have to grab the one in the right hand side tire before continuing. Also, if it's not obvious, you are allowed to die in the bonus areas and they don't actually count as a death. So feel free to try these as many times as you need. If you don't get them on your first try, you don't necessarily have to restart the entire level.
There's another tricky box right here where you'll want to slide double jump on top, do a big bounce and jump onto the roof. This one was actually the one that eluded me for quite a bit of time. And then what we can do is pretty much go through to the end of the level. There are a couple more hidden boxes as well as our hidden gem though. For the hidden gem, what you'll want to do is slide and double jump to the left from where we were, and then you'll have to do a big bounce off of the top box to find the hidden gem. You can grab those boxes, smash the nitro block at the end of the level, and you should have all 153 out of 153. Way more than enough Wumpa Fruit, and if you didn't die, you'll get that perfect relic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next level. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Shout out Elder Ghost and Buffy Vins. Peace!